Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. Today we will learn, how to add Grammarly add-ins in your Microsoft Office Word. To write everything grammatically correct. First of all let's see how it actually works. So, as I have already set up in my Word. Let's open my Word app to see how nice it is. Actually I've already written few sentence, which are grammatically error, to show you how does it eat work. Okay, I just paste it here. Now you can clearly see the icon of Grammarly here. Probable you don't have this in your word. Now just I clicked on the icon of the add-in. It is checking, how much error the paragraph has. And checking done. It has found a lot of error in my writings. Just one click on every error sentence will help me to choose the correct format of the word. In this way we can correct all our basic issues. But they also offer premium issues which can help us to form a sentence more correctly. But for this, we have to buy the premium package for month or year. So, for now we can skip to buy clicking on maybe later. So at the bottom you can see there is no basic issue. But have some premium issue. Which is not too much significant but yeah important to make a sentence user friendly. So, in this way it may help you lot to write something quickly with less error. Now let's learn how to set up this in your word. But yeah before that, I have to uninstall my one. I have uninstalled from me. Let's check it. So, you can see in the right top corner there is no icon of Grammarly. Even see not in add-ins option also. So, now let's move to the main tutorial now. Hope you will enjoy a lot. Now, Open any of your convenient browser to download the Grammarly software from online official website. To find out the software, search, download free Grammarly add-in for Word. Or you find the link the description also. There you may have seen a lot of result, but choosing one will be not so much tough with the help of authentic link. Now find out the official site to download, if need scroll down. You can see here, the link is denoting it is official site. Click on that to enter. So this is the official site. After entering to the site, you will see something like this one. Click on that. After coming here, it may be automatically started downloading. They have shown us few instruction about the installing and setting up procedure. There are only three main step. But they have not shown us all the specific step, how to set up the add-in. But don't worry I'll show you step by step. Now. If the downloading automatically doesn't stat t then you will see an option like this with green color, and renamed as, here. Just simply click on that and it will proceed to download. Here it is, and I'm downloading in my specific folder, so that I can show you the installing procedure clearly. Download completed. 
and let's open it. Here it is. Now let's start the installation procedure. Right click on the icon. And you will see an option like run as administration. Click on this to start the installation procedure. Here it comes. Now click on this get started button simply. It is showing it will install for both your Word and your Outlook. Now click on install button. You may uncheck the Outlook if you don't want. Installation is undergoing. Wow! It has installed successfully. Now click on the finish button simply. Well, we have installed it without any error, now we have to move direct to our office word to check out, whether it has installed or not. Yes. Here again on the top right corner the icon has come again after installation. So, now click on that icon, and most important part is, we must have login to use the add-in. To login you may use your previous account to login if you have any previous account. Or you may create one now as a new user. For that just click on login. Then it will take you in a website page to login or create account. There are many options that you can choose to login. Like you can use your Facebook, your Google account, or your Apple ID. Or even you can use your previous account to login. As a new user I personally suggest to use Google account, just click on that. You can simply choose any of your logged in Google account or you can use another account which will require to input again. To use another account click on here. So now, input your previously used Gmail which you have used to create Grammarly account. If you don't have account then click on here create account. To create new one. Now input your password if you are logged in with your old account. So, I have logged in. I will open now Grammarly then my word. So, let's see the login status of Grammarly in our office word. You can see the icon here. We will see whether it is working or not. So I'm again pasting my previously written few grammatically error sentence, to check that my grammarly working properly or not. Now click on the icon to checking the error. So, yeah it is working as before. All the error it has captured nicely. Isn't it very easy to set up and use? Why don't you start using Grammarly to assure your correctness in your writing? I think it will obviously speed up your working strategy and help you to end up things quickly. As well as also will save your time. Let's see, after correcting once with Grammarly, does it require any further correction or not? Wow! Yeah it doesn't need any further correction. But yeah to make them more correct you may go for premium issue. Let's see, how much it costs to take the premium account.
yeah they are telling us about their offer. In free account we will have these. Within this we will get spelling error check, grammar check, and punctuation with conciseness. On the other hand, in premium, there is a huge number of opportunities in correcting a sentence. First all the free feature are included for the premium user also, then clarity focus sentence will help you to make a sentence more user friendly, then tone adjustments will help you to focus the tone of a paragraph. Plagiarism detection is another very important feature I think and many more important things are included in the premium account. So, what about the price, let's see the pricing. I've to log in again to see the price with my account. Here come four kinds of pricing for the premium account. The very first one is annual, which is very much popular. $12 per month. But if you goes to just monthly payment system, it will cost $30 per month which is equal to three times larger than annual plan. So you may choose any of your convenient plan can enjoy the premium feature of the Grammarly add-in. So, here we came to an end. Hope you have enjoyed the tutorial. And we have tried to show you everything very clearly. If you learned something from here don't forget to thank my by liking and subscribing to my channel. And obviously don't forget to tell us what kind of tutorial you want. Thank you for today. Have a nice day ahead.